Hi, good morning. It's me again, Cikgu Ani Ajan. It's been a while since the first lesson. Okay, so this week's lesson is a continuation of last week, taken from pages 37 to 41 of the textbook. Okay, so it is Unit 3, The Wonders of Nature. So you were introduced to some awesome, majestic wonders of nature. Yeah, very beautiful. And today we are going to have three main skills. Right, so our skills for today's lesson, we are going to focus on speaking, we do some speaking exercises, vocabulary words, and writing. So before we go into that, let's read the objectives of the lesson. Okay, the objectives are... Pupils are able to a talk about the environment. B. Listen to instructions. Listen to open discussions on topic of interest. By listing down at least three environmental problems. Mm -hmm. There are consequences and ways to curb or ways to solve each problem. And discuss at least three ways to protect the environment using some useful expressions. Now see, complete ten phrases and eight sentences using the correct prepositions. You are also going to complete the exam test task with the correct prepositions. Now, as for the writing, D, write an informal email about ways to protect the environment. O, to email rather right so write in two informal emails about ways to protect the environment next okay so our first task for today is the speaking skill on page 37 of your textbook, you will see this picture on the top right corner of the page. So, look at the picture. What can you tell about the picture? Yeah, what can you tell about the picture? It tells about... An environmental issue, correct? You see rubbish, empty plastic bottles, tin cans, bottles, glass bottles, aluminium, right? So you see rubbish, which is an issue. Okay, question number two. What other environmental problems do you know of? What other environmental problems do you know of? Say your answers out loud to yourself and then list them down in your exercise book. Okay, some. Give me at least three 
if you have more you may write more okay. and question number three think about the consequences of each of the issues and find a solution to each problem or a way to of reducing its negative consequences or negative effect of the environmental problems right think about the consequences the effect of each of the environmental problem find a solution to each problem or find a way of reducing its negative consequences Right? Um, you write your answers in your exercise book. Okay? Now, it looks like we are going to talk about environmental problems. Huh? Okay. So here. Uh, three questions that you need to answer. Question one Why is our planet in danger? Why is our planet in danger? Can you tell why? Question number two. How do people damage the environment? How do people damage the environment? Can you think of one? How? Question number three. How many endangered species do you know of? How many endangered species do you know of? Endangered species, are species, animals that are near extinction. Right? Okay. Let me help you a little about each of the question. Question one: Why is our planet in danger? Could it be that because we have polluted, polluted the environment and it's becoming an unhealthy place for us to live in? Yeah? Okay. Number two. How do people damage the environment? How our irresponsible activities, human irresponsible activities, such as open burning, excessive use of harmful chemicals, plastics, all right, and you can add on. And number three, how many endangered species do you know of? Okay, now the orang utan totals. Yeah, so you make a list in your exercise book. Okay, answer the questions, the three questions. So, here, I believe you are familiar with how the PT3 speaking test is conducted. Yeah, so it is important that you follow these guidelines. So here, in the example set, 
are some guidelines how you ought to prepare yourself and answer questions in the speaking tests. Okay. So in the exam in the listening in the speaking test, sorry. Listen to instructions carefully and make sure you understand what you have to talk about. Again, in the exam, listen to the instructions carefully and make sure you understand what you have to talk about. Yeah? Now, secondly, if you are unsure, if you are not sure, or you are nervous, you can politely ask the examiner to repeat the instructions. And if you are not sure, you can politely ask the examiner to repeat the instructions. And thirdly, start by talking about the first picture. Then discuss each one before making a decision. The, the question normally, they would normally show a few pictures. Eh? It could be five, four, five to six pictures. So you start with the first picture. Now, In exercise B here, listen and complete the instructions for the exam task below. So here is an exam task. I want you to listen. I'm going to describe a situation to you and complete the instructions okay now it goes here a school committee is trying to decide what projects its students could do to help protect the environment talk together about different things the student could do and then decide which project would be best Got it? Again, a school committee is trying to decide what project its students could do to help protect the environment. Talk together about the different things the students could do and then decide which project would be best. Have you got the words? Do you understand the instructions? Okay. So, what are your answers? You can write your answers in your exercise book. Okay. Now, besides, listening to instructions to know what you ought to talk about okay here are some useful expressions useful expressions to help you start the conversation or the speaking test so here we have, shall we start with these, referring to the picture, with this picture, okay, or let's begin, or let's start by looking at this picture, or first of all, 
let's begin with picture one. Oh, to begin with, let's look at picture number one. So you choose whichever of your choice, okay? So these are helping words to help you start and to move on to the next picture you can choose either let's move on to picture number right. or shall we talk about picture now okay so these are useful expressions to help you so that you will not panic so pick your choice look at these pictures in exercise D here this is your task this is the exam task, okay? So this is your task. Ways to protect the environment. Now, by looking at this picture, okay, ways to protect the environment. Here is cycle, recycling, sorry, recycling. Cleaning up the beach, the beach, sorry. A campaign, writing a school blog, planting trees. So, this tells us one, two, three, four, five ways to protect the environment. Okay, so you may think, right, what would be needed or involved. In each picture, in a re recycling activity, you will need what are these recycling bins, correct? Yeah, and here cleaning up the beach, all right. You see what's going on. All right, what is involved here? Involve collecting waste from the beach, plastic bags. Okay, and here, the next picture a campaign. By putting up posters, correct? And here, write a school blog in the internet. Mm -hmm. And planting trees, you may say. Here is the school compound. Okay. So, next. Exercise C match the verb one to five with words A to E. Now these words are helping words, right? These verbs. So start, recycle, plant, clear up, put up. So let's match them with one, two, three, four, five. 
to A, B, C, D, E. Okay? So, start, what do you start? Say your answer, choose. Alright, start, it can't be, start rubbish and litter on the leaves, correct? Cannot be. Start posters for a campaign, you will start posters. Start trees, no. Start a school block, ah oh, yes. Start a school block. To inform students and teachers about the program or the activities the different activities rather different projects recycle what do you recycle do do you recycle rubbish and litter on the beach no okay so recycle I believe you know what recycle means. You plant, you clear up, you put up. All right. So not here, class. In task C as above here, are some helpful words you can use when talking about the picture in the exam task. And for example, I think we should start a school blog. Yeah? I think we should start a school blog. Okay. Now. D, look at the exam task here, yeah? exam task. Now complete the exam task. This is the question. Describe the pictures about ways to protect the environment using the match verb and the useful expressions to help you. Remember? The match verb, okay, and useful expressions. Uh, sorry, okay, by saying you may start by saying, I think we should plant some trees. But the useful expressions, let's begin or let's start. Okay, remember? So, and then I think we should start a block, plant some trees in the school compound. Right, so you must talk about all. The pictures, each of the pictures. Okay? You must, don't miss out any of these pictures. Now, here are some ideas that you can think about. Okay? So, Ways to protect the environment. Start by talking about the first picture, then discuss. So you may record yourself describing each of the pictures, okay? Or you can just simply write one or two sentences about each picture. It doesn't have to be long. Okay, so the five pictures to describe one or two sentences each. 
Okay, so to finish with our speaking, okay, when you are done, here are some additional ideas that you can try on your own. Okay, idea focus. Now, what do you think here? Are Zeus a good or bad idea? Are Zeus a good or bad idea? If yes, why? If not, why not? Yeah? Okay, you may. Then you, you have the idea of that. And secondly, should you have to protect the environment? Should you have to protect the environment? Yes. No. Speak reasons. If yes, why? If no, why not? And the last, if we don't protect the environment, what do you think will happen in the future? Hmm. If we don't protect the environment, what do you think will happen in the future? Alright, so you just need to write one or two sentences each. Okay? And that is for the speaking. Now we shall move on to our vocabulary. Now, to this vocabulary is about prepositions. Yeah? Vocabulary. It is about prepositions. So the first exercise for our preposition. A. Complete the phrases with the correct prepositions. So these words in brackets, bracketed word here, are prepositions. Okay. We have prepositions of places, time, all right? So here, these prepositions here, number one, is it after or across years of something? Mm -hmm. Two, take action on or take action onto something. Three, four, between, or over twenty years. Number four, go from here to, or in there. Five, get for, or get from this to this. Six, appear in something or appear into something. Seven, get during something or get onto something. Eight, on the moment, at the moment. Nine, turn at something, turn into something. Ten, before something happens, on something happens. Okay, so you underline the correct prepositions. Okay, next you will see here in yellow are the same prepositions. So these are prepositions. Now here complete the sentences with the correct prepositions. Eight sentences.
in, into, to, over, at, onto, before, from. Now, number one. We need to protect the rainforest. It disappears. Two. I have been using solar power for a decade now. Twelve years, in fact. For. Okay. Three. In Iceland, you can explore anything. Caves to glaciers. Number four. They are turning this land in a conservation area, which is good. Yeah. Number five. This stream goes from the top of the mountain, the bottom of the valley. Six species from the rainforest have appeared people's garden ponds. Mm. Seven. Bacteria on animals can get our hands. Mm -hmm. Bacteria on animals can get our hands. Eight. I can't talk right now. I'm very busy the moment. So use all the Prepositions here. There are eight and there are eight sentences. Okay. So now, here is the exam close up for the next task. We are still on prepositions, okay? Reading. A multiple choice text first. Reading a multiple choice text first. Okay. Before you complete a multiple choice text, it is important to read all the text first. Read through, write through. Make sure you understand what the text is about before you start to choose the correct answer. When you have chosen the answers, go back and read the text again and check that it makes sense. Okay. So, the text is about the picture on the top right corner on page, of page 38 of the textbook. Okay, so see here how could the great garbage patch be dangerous? So the great garbage page refers to the picture on page 38, the picture on the top right corner of the textbook of the page. Okay, how could the great garbage page be dangerous? Okay, and now D, we'll see, I'll show you later in the next slide. Now come here. The great garbage page. Now, how do you feel looking at this picture? How do you feel looking at this picture? You feel sad, right? It is sad. 
this is our planet Earth. Okay. So, next. The exam task. Okay, this deck is about the red cabbage patch. Now, what a lot of rubbish. So you will fill in the blanks with the correct answer. So each blank has four options. Only one answer and the rest are extractors. Okay. It is difficult to believe that years of people working hard to fight pollution and take action the environment, we still have a long way to go before we succeed. Yeah. Oceanographers have discovered a huge plastic soup made from rubbish floating in the Pacific Pacific Ocean. This island of rubbish has been crawling slowly for 60 years. And it's now so big, it goes from California, Hawaii, and nearly to Japan. It contains everything you could imagine. Plastic bags to children's toy and even plastic swimming pools. I have split this text into two, okay? So the second the second part is here. The Great Gabbit Page, as it's sometimes called, causes lots of problems. One of these is the chemicals it produces in the sea. These chemicals and small pieces of plastics are now appearing fish and obviously this means the plastic filled fish could get out in the plates. It's not all bad news though. The moment a conservation group are investigating if the 100 million tons of waste can be turned fuel and used in a positive way. Let's hope they take action. The plastic suit now before it gets any bigger. Okay. Choose the correct prepositions to fill in the blanks. Our last task for today is writing. Okay, so we are going to write an informal email. So before we go into that, let's read these three situations here. Okay, now in the early part of the lesson today, you were asked to list down some endangered species you know of. So, endangered species, correct? Yeah. Global warming. Here is global warming. Environmental pollution. Environmental pollution. Air pollution. Water pollution. 
lamp illusions. Okay. So I would like you to say what they have in common. These three situations here, what do you think that they have in common? Yeah, exactly right. Now, next, what do you think how this phenomena, this phenomena, are related to each of the pictures? Here, you also see three pictures here. You like what you see here? I do. Okay, so what do you think how this Phenomena one, two, three. How they are related to these three pictures? Okay, so I have suggested answers to the question. What? Do you think how these phenomena are related to each of the pictures? Okay, so look at the first picture. The first picture shows penguins on an ice floe, which is melting due to global warming. Okay, the ice floe is mel melting due to global warming. Now the second picture shows people cycling, which help keep the environment or the air clean. Okay, it doesn't pollute the air. And the third picture shows a honeybee. Whose natural habitat is in danger? Okay, in danger from new buildings and roads. Its habitat is being destroyed. Okay, so the bees are in danger. Okay, so next, what do you do to help the environment? Well, here we can take part. We carpool, right? Reduce the three R. Okay, which lead to excessive excessive use of chemical waste. Leads to global warming and proper. We can plant trees, right, to protect species from extinction. Okay, so. Here are the suggested answers for the questions. Okay, so first, the first picture shows penguin on an ice floe, which is melting due to global warming. You heard it right. Now the same picture shows people cycling, which help to keep the air clean. The third picture shows a honeybee. Whose habitat is in danger from new buildings and roads? How are the three pictures related to each other? 
how are the three pictures related to each other? Here, environmental pollution causes the disruptions of natural habitats and can lead to species becoming endangered or extinct. Sad, right? It also causes an increase in greenhouse gases, which in turn leads to global warming. Mm. Okay, next, uh, some helpful expressions to help you write the email, informal email or informal letter. So, writing an informal letter or an informal email include these useful expressions so let's read when you are writing an informal email or informal letter there are useful phrases and expressions that you that can help to make your writing natural it's a good idea to learn these expressions memorize them pick your choice so you can use some of them every time you write an informal letter or email of your choice, okay? Now, first, you can start your letter or email using friendly greetings and questions. For example, hi, hello, how are you, how are things? How is it going? Okay. And you can end your email or your letter in a friendly way. For example, bye. Bye for now. See you soon. Speak to you later. That's all for now. Write soon. Um, there are other expressions that can that you can use in informal letters and email, right? Expressions such as "sorry for not answering your last email," "it's great to hear from you," "I really miss you." Write back soon and tell me all about it. I love reading your emails. Good luck. Okay. So, this is for expressions. You pick your choice okay, to make your writing natural. So next, here is an example or a sample email, okay, that you can refer to when writing your email letter. So here, read the example email and underline the useful expressions the writer has used. Okay, of course the format here includes to alice at hotmail.com from so this is the writer okay this to the recipient from the writer of the email okay so here is the email address and subject you just simply can say hi now the starting of your email is here hi alice do you notice that this is one of the expressions Hi Alice, and here too. How are things? It's great to hear from you. This is another one. Remember? Okay, I really miss you. Natural comes naturally. Sorry. Okay. 
That's an interesting project your teacher has given you. Why don't you write about the special day we had at school a month ago? Everyone made or gave things for sale. There were cupcakes, bread, pizza, books, pictures, and clothes. Our families came and we had a party. It was fantastic. We met. 1,060 pounds. We gave all the money to help protect honeybees. A lot of the natural habitats for bees has gone because people have built houses and roads on it. We need to save the bees. Good luck with your projects. Please write back and tell me about it. So here is another expressions from the useful expressions. Okay, so please write back and tell me about it. Bye. Sure. Okay. So read this email again. Underline the useful expressions the writer has used. Okay. So you copy you copy down. This email and underline the words. Okay. Now refer to the useful expressions from your textbook or from the slides bef before this. Okay. Next, here is the task, the writing task. Read the writing task below. And then answer the questions about it in your notebook. So here it is. This is part of an email you got from a friend in England. A friend of yours in England sent you an email. Here is a part of it. So it reads. Sorry. Our teacher has asked the class to write about the things people do to protect the planet around the world. I want to write about what people do in your country. Can you send me some information? So your friend in England would like to know what people in your country do to help protect the planet around to the planet Earth. So he or she wants you to send some information. Okay, so now write an email to your friend in about 100 words. So your PT3 the number of words for the essay for the email would be around this number, 100 words. Okay, what type of text do you have to write? It is an email to a friend, okay? And what will it be about? It should be about what people do in your country to protect the environment. And what does your friend need? Your friend needs information about what people do to protect the planet in your country yeah and will it be formal or informal of course informal okay now exercise c You have read the example email or the sample email. 
let's do some answer some questions about it read the, read the sample email again and write true t for true or f for false right so exercise a on page 40 let's read this together let's do this okay the writer likes the person she is writing to do you think this is true or false the writer likes the person she is writing to it's true good Number two, the writer hasn't written about the environment. The writer hasn't written about the environment. True or false? Good. It's false. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number three, the writer described an event in the past. True or false? True. True. Good. Number four. The writer gives information about how people help to protect the planet. True or false? Mm -hmm. Good. True. Alright, we shall go to move on to exercise T. Match the correct paragraph number in the example email with these descriptions. Okay. This description A information about the things people do to help protect the planet. In which paragraph is it taken from? Information about the things people do to help the planet. Mm -hmm. Paragraph two. Okay. Information about the environment. Paragraph. Paragraph three. Okay. C. Friendly ending with informal expressions. Paragraph. The paragraph four. Meaning, friendly opening. Asking about the reader is paragraph one. Good. So. Here are helping words to help you write your email. Read the exam close-up and the exam task. Underline all the information you need to include in your email. Okay, so you have got the task. So, when you plan to write, when you are writing, answering the question, writing your email, so here are what you need to do, planning your work. Before you start writing in the exam, think about the information you need to include, right? Extra information which may not be explicit. From the question. So read the exam questions carefully and underline key points. Thirdly, decide what information you are going to write in each paragraph. Make notes. Then check you have included all the points in the exam questions in a logical order to write in paragraphs write your points in paragraphs 
Okay. So here is the exam task. Goes here. This is your written work for today. Complete exam task. Remember to make a plan before you start. So here it is. This is part of an email you get from a friend in England. So you are all making post posters at school about a renewable energy around the world. I want to make mine about renewable energy in your country. Can you send me some information about it? Okay. So read and understand the question. Okay, so this is what you are going to do. Now write an email to your friend giving some information about renewable energy in your country. So I think I'm giving you an option here. Either you write about this renewable energy or what people do in your country to protect the planets. Okay, so you write your email in about 100 words. Okay, so there you go. You use the useful expressions that we have looked at previously to help you. All the best. God bless. Bye.